is there a perfect age to move to Italy? It's a curious question. And I actually think this whole topic of age is a curious subject because people get so hung up on their age. Society in general gets so hung up on age. There are so many people that will attach themselves to the numbers on a piece of paper and allow that to control the decisions they make in life, the opportunities they go after and the experiences that they have. And there are other people, myself included, who feel ageless. I don't attach myself to the age that I am, which is 41 years old. I actually feel ageless. And I think that that represents itself in the opportunities that I follow and the steps that I have taken in my life and the things that I have done that people wouldn't necessarily expect of somebody my age. So this is really, really curious because age in Italy is a thing. There are many people who are a similar age to me that will consider themselves to be over the hill and old. And when people say this to me, I'm literally like, I cannot believe you've just said that because I feel the complete opposite. And it's interesting because I do wonder if it's a cultural thing that people feel this way or if it's a societal thing. Like, you know, you look around and it feels like society favors the young. But I also think it can be an excuse sometimes. Sometimes people don't know how to or aren't willing to put in the hard work to go after the things that they want to do. And so they write off their life with age being the number one reason as to why it's not possible. When, you know, it might just be that they may have needed to make some sacrifices or do things a little differently in order to make their dreams come true. You know, I, I always believe that if you are easily deterred by something, you are not as fully invested in it as you had thought. So, you know, if you don't follow a particular opportunity, maybe it's because you didn't really want to do it and it's not really because of your age at all. Um, but then I also see that ageism does exist here. And, you know, it's the same in the UK. People who are older find it a bit more difficult to find work here or their prospects are more limited, even though that this isn't supposed to be the case in 2024 and it isn't as openly talked about as it should be. Ageism is a thing as well. And so there are so many factors linked to age that sometimes when you sit here and you think like, is there a perfect age to move to Italy? It almost feels like a bottomless question, like with no real answer. But I feel like I do have some answers and I'm going to break this video down into three sections. What it's like to move here in like your 20s, what it's like to move here like in your 30s or 40s, which is the category that I come under. And then what I think it can be like to move here when you're older to retire here, because really these tend to be the three main groups of ages that people will move to Italy under. So if we're going to talk about somebody in their 20s, now I actually think in many respects, this can be a fantastic age to decide to move to another country because, you know, what a great experience, what a way to open up your mind, to develop new skills, to improve yourself as a person, then to pack up your bags and go and live in a brand new country and start your life over from scratch. I actually think it can be one of the biggest and best adventures of your life. However, on the other hand, I do think that it can actually be more challenging if you don't have much work or life experience behind you. If you've not really had any kind of jobs before moving here to Italy or you've not really had much of a worldly experience in terms of your life experiences, you may very well find it hard to adjust to life here in Italy because let me tell you, it's not easy and I know that people don't like to hear me say this on this channel but you know I always tell it to you as it is. Um, if you don't have experience behind you, it may very well mean that you find it harder to adjust to certain things. And you may not necessarily have the kind of hindsight to look at situations and understand them for what they really are. And this is all natural. When you're young, you're still learning, right? In your 20s, you don't have all the answers and you're not meant to either. You're still figuring them out. And so I think this period of time can be a great moment to explore and to discover things but I think you have so many things that you have to think about you have to think about your long-term future absolutely because you may or may not have decided upon what career you want to do but please know that working here in Italy is challenging watch this video up here if you want a bit more of a deep dive into this topic it's not easy to work here and so it may not be the best place for you to gain your first work experience in or indeed it may very well be because it will teach you some of the biggest lessons you'll ever learn in your life it all depends how you look at it 
Um, but you do have to consider these aspects. Being in your 20s is a great moment of exploration and you don't have to sign your life away in your 20s and decide what you're going to do until the end of your life. But I do think that if you're going to move here in this age range, you do need to have a bit of a plan. Even if it is that you're going to do a particular job for a certain number of years or you've, you've come here to gain a particular skill set or experience, I do think it helps you to have a bit of a plan so that you can really make the most of this time here and actually help it in your development and growth rather than make you feel like you've made the worst decision in the world. Now, when it comes to moving here in your 30s and 40s, I actually moved here two weeks before I turned 35. So I was definitely in the middle of this age range when I moved here and I moved here with 10 years of work experience behind me, full-time work experience. I was a police officer for six years. I had my own business for four years. And then of course, prior to that, I was working part-time whilst I was studying. So I had a lot of work stroke life experience behind me under my belt. And I have to be honest with you, that helped me a lot. It helped me with the difficulties that I encountered at the very, very beginning in terms of trying to adjust to life here. It helped me to kind of conduct myself appropriately in work situations and to kind of draw up my boundaries and understand what I would tolerate and what I wouldn't. And it also helped me to have a bit more of a balanced perspective as to how life is here and the way that I should carry myself. And so I do think that there is a lot of benefit in moving to Italy when you're a little bit older because you come here with more experience and you come here with a clearer idea as to what you want to gain from your time here in Italy than when you are younger, when, you know, for most people, it's more of an adventure than it is something more long term. I think as well, if you move here in this age range, perhaps you do have plans to kind of settle here or to put down some long-term roots. And so your perspective is going to be different about the experiences you get involved in and the kinds of things and activities that you will do once you start living here. The cons of moving here at this time in your life though, is that sometimes you will look around and you will see a distinct difference between people your age and yourself. A lot of people at this age are married, they have families, they are, you know, like settled down. And although some people are still figuring their life out and some are still finishing university education in their thirties and kind of starting to work a lot of people have already kind of fast forwarded their life and are already kind of settled down with their roots so sometimes you can sit and you can see the stark differences if your life doesn't look exactly the same so I think that can sometimes hit you hard because you feel like you should be living your life in a different way or that you should be I don't know taking a different path to the one that you're on I think as well um, when you move here at this age I think sometimes you can feel that maybe you are a little old. Now, I say this in inverted commas because you know I don't feel like this myself, but some people do. And some people might look around and feel like this kind of an experience is mainly for those who are younger. And that maybe at this kind of stage in their life, they should be getting serious about their careers and they should be kind of laying down their foundations for their future. You know, it's almost considered by society that when you're 40, you're a little bit over the hill. Now, I don't agree with this at all. Um, I've cited this before in previous videos, but some really famous people who I follow, Louise Hay being an example, she um, was a publisher of an incredible publishing house, Hay House, and she began that business when, when she was in her 60s. So, you know, nothing is impossible. Age is really just this number. It's just the meaning that we give to it that makes it kind of positive or negative. But I will say that there is a feeling that you're a bit older when you make this kind of decision at this age in life. Yes. And it's a feeling. It doesn't have to make any sense to you. It doesn't have to be something that you agree with, but you do kind of pick up on this vibe that maybe this is a decision you've taken later in life, especially if you move here on your own as well. You might feel that perhaps your life should look a little different as to how it really does. Now, when it comes to perhaps retiring here, I feel like 
some in some ways this could be the best years of your life to come and discover Italy because you've lived your life up until this point you've had different experiences in different parts of the world you've had your career you've had your family if 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 you had one you know you you've experienced the richness of life and now you've come to Italy to to kind of enjoy this next chapter in a new environment with different challenges and experiences and you know what a way to open your mind later on in life it's fantastic so I really do feel that there is a blessing to move into Italy when you're older because you move here as a wise person in the most part for most people I think you move here with a lot of life experience that can help you and really guide you on your new journey here in Italy and I think as well that you have a greater idea of what it is that you want from your life. When you're really young, like in your 20s, sometimes you don't really know what you want from life. You're still figuring it out. In your 30s and 40s, you start to get a bit clearer. But when you're older and you're retired, absolutely, most people know what it is that they want from their life, the things that they enjoy, the things they don't enjoy, and the kind of life they want to create for themselves. It's clearer then than it probably ever is at any other stage of your life and so I think that that can help you to really create and carve out a fantastic life for yourself here being that bit older and being that bit more experienced and knowledgeable about what it is that you want to gain from your experience here in Italy the negatives though is that as I've said before it's not easy to live here and it doesn't get easier just because you're older I actually think it can make it more difficult when you're older to live in Italy depending on where in Italy you live if you live here in South Italy um, life here can be pretty stressful at times it's not necessarily easy to move around depending on where you base yourself of course um, but I think it also depends on you as a person and the kinds of life that you expect for yourself. If you think you're going to move here to South Italy and your life is just going to feel like you're on a dream boat all day, every day, it may not necessarily be that way if you decide to live in a busy city like Palermo, for example. Um, you really have to be very decisive about where you want to move to if that is the kind of lifestyle that you want to have here in South Italy because it can be difficult here. And, you know, when you're older, you don't necessarily want to be dealing with that kind of stress. You've dealt with that kind of stress all your life. You've retired. Now you want to kind of, you know, enter into a stage of of enjoying life, perhaps, and actually really, truly relaxing. And you can find that peace here. Absolutely. But it's not easy to find that peace. And you often have to do a lot of work to uncover it. And so when you're older, do you really want to be going through that? That's something else that you have to think about. Do you really want the process of learning a new language and adapting to a new lifestyle and adjusting to a new way of life? Or do you want to stay comfortable in your existing life in your own country? Like, these are all really, really valid questions that you have to ask yourself. And really, in a way, you have to ask yourself these questions at any stage of your life when you decide to want to move to Italy. Do I think there is a perfect age? I don't think there's a perfect, perfect age. I don't think perfectionism is a thing at all. But do I think that sometimes it is more beneficial to move here when you're older? Yes, I do. Because I think you've gained a lot of life experience in the run up to your move that can definitely aid you here in Italy and save you having to learn many hard lessons along the way. So this is what I think about moving to Italy. I think there isn't a perfect age, but I think some ages are perhaps slightly easier than others. But whatever age you move here, there are always going to be cons. This is the way it is. And I think you have to take from your experience what you want to and you have to learn and grow and develop and you have to make the absolute best of your time here. I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.